Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. This is I. We are here again, you know. And this video this morning, well, hope you're doing well. Sorry about that. Hope you're doing well. Hope you know the holidays are treating you right and all of that. You know, because in this holiday time, you find the people really, really busy. I try to get this whole Christmas thing in order. And yada, yada, yada. But to each his own, yeah, man. You know, we just hope we take it easy. We just hope we be grateful for every single day. We hope we just practice gratitude, you know. Because it's a great thing, gratitude. You know, the more you give thanks, the more, the more the universe gives you things to give thanks for, you know. <laughs> so, practice gratitude, man. But this video, the, the video this morning is about, um, as you can see in the title, why chosen ones um, have it the roughest. Why chosen ones go through it hardest. Why we have it the hardest in life, you know. Why we get so much fight? Why we go through so much struggle? You know, as chosen ones. Now, now explain to them. Uh, most of you who watch this channel um, have some some sort of spiritual awareness. You know, so you know, aware of the illusions them in the world already. You know, and for all of the newcomers, them welcome, welcome. But we're aware of all of the um, well, some of the illusions in the world, and we all know that one of the biggest illusions in the world right now is that um, we have free will, and that um, the government is an uh, entity we want the best for it. That's a big illusion. The government is not an entity that wants the best for us. The government, the, the, the people who are ruling this world right now, guys, is a set of beings. They set up lower dimensional beings, lower conscious beings, lower, lower consciousness beings that have taken the earth, they destroyed their own planet, you know, and, and fled to earth and now they are trying to destroy this planet, this beautiful planet and you know they have been in control for you know for eons upon eons. They have been in control of this realm for a while now. But their time is up. You know, 2016 marked the period of their you know of their reign. Their time is up now. You know? A higher state of consciousness of the rule of the planet right now and that's that's why the shift happened, the shift from you know 3D consciousness you know to higher states of consciousness. You get me say? So yeah man So yeah why chosen one of the most? So guys as I say now the, 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 the cabal the ruling the ruling class of this world is a set of um, lower lower dimensional species they are extraterrestrials yes most of us you know all of us are extraterrestrial almost every human you know is extraterrestrial when you check it look look where we live we live in a space we live out of space this big this planet is a giant it's just a giant ball it's a rock in our outer space you see so we in a space already we in the galaxy you know if we go for an explanation would have be aliens to them you know if we go for an explanation go find life farm would have be aliens to them and they would really want to open anything either because they don't know nothing about you see what I mean so yeah, man, I'm not really at all right now still, but why chosen one chosen ones have it have it hardest in life? Alright. Based on the fact that the, the, the people who are ruling the world right now is for the opposite agenda than the chosen one. Because the chosen ones them there will bring forth a higher state of consciousness. A, 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 a earth with peace, a earth without slavery, a earth with humanity knowing that we are all one and we're connected. You get what I say? And we all know that that is not the world that we're living in right now, which simply means that somebody else, the opposite mindset of the chosen ones, is ruling the world. It's simple. So the people who are ruling the world now, the lower dimensional beings, you get what I say? They have technology, they understand astrology, they understand karma, they understand almost every single spiritual law of the universe based upon the fact that. The, our ancestors, melanated beings, we have, a, we have a habit of retaining knowledge. So we usually write knowledge in the hieroglyphics, them, write knowledge in the scrolls so we can pass it on to a younger generation, to generations that are coming after us. So based on that now, when um, ancient Egypt and ancient Egypt and a lot of the um, older civilization fell, when, when um, a lot of the older civilizations fell, these beings who are actually running the world right now. They actually got teeth out the scrolls them and most of the scrolls them right now with the knowledge, with the real knowledge of the prophets them and the pharaohs them and all the great beings, great melanated beings them, the gods them, the prophet of the prophet, the knowledge of the gods them, not even those prophets, gods. You get to me and say because we are gods, you know? 
at that time we were behaving like gods. So, you know, and just now we not behave like gods, we are behaving like, 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 like peasants. I don't know, you know, but the time feed a shift now. So we are going to start behaving more like God now. We are going to our God farm. We are going to start living our higher self now. Up more in our crown chakra. We are going to start stop living our base chakra. Because the base chakra deals with survival. And if you are in a survival mode and things you need to eat and work for survival and all that something that work for buy food for survive. Yeah, in a survival mode, you are living at the state of the higher self. Down in the base chakra. So we are going to start living up in the higher self now, the, 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 the crown chakra. Because the, the, if you live in a lower dimension, you are a demon or the devil, you say the lower dimension is hell. If you live in a lower dimension and live in a survival mode, you are a demon, you are hell there. You know? <laughs> but when you live in a higher dimension, you are a god, you are an angel. But nobody knows that. If you act like a, like, like a playground in the world, people are going to say, you are a demon that you know, they quick to call you a demon and the devil, you know? But why when you behave like a saint, nobody knows that. You are a god that you know, you are an angel that you know. You get what I say? So yeah, man. I check it. So the lowest state of consciousness is the devil, and the highest state of consciousness is God. You get me, I say? So that people need to understand and stop things. Say, if my hell has some place where you go, if you do bad, you go hell, and if you do good, you go heaven. Yes, you go reach heaven and hell if you do good or if you do bad. But it's not a place where you go live from the physical earth and leave your physical body and go. No. It's a state of consciousness. You can see right here, stand there, hell, you know. And you can see right here, stand there, heaven, too. You better know that. So don't wait for dead to experience heaven. And don't wait for dead to experience hell. You get to me as you experience it right, that's all right now. And this alone you know about. You get to me as you? So now, the ruling people, the ruling class of this world, for the fact that they understand astrology and they understand everything based on the fact that they teeth out the knowledge and copy it. You get to me as you? And hide it away from us. A lot of the knowledge in the Vatican City, scrolls that have been stolen, ancient scrolls, billions, year, billions of years ago. Scrolls that were written, they get to me by the gods and they keep the scroll because they know that knowledge is power. Whoever wield the knowledge in this realm, and them have the power. So, them people they just have the knowledge all along and just hide it away from the mass public. But the knowledge is being revealed now in the age of Aquarius to the public because this is what the age of Aquarius does it sheds light and the, and the occult, the hidden things from humanity. Now, why a group of people would have the government would have to hide knowledge from the society? Hmm? The government do not want no good for the people. Eh? Why would I hide knowledge? Valuable, sustainable knowledge, sovereignty knowledge, self, you know, self governance knowledge from a people. It means you want to depend on you as a government, you know. Just say that the government does a big trick. If we have the knowledge, we're not going to need them no more. And them need we need them <laughs> because, as I tell you, they are not from this planet. So, them not use our energy to survive. And manipulate, we forget our energy if we actually live on that planet. Then yeah. we can't live here. Yeah. Uh, our planet this. And black people need to realize. But over the years, we never realize because we all think say, white people better than we. For the fact that they beat that in our, our, our head from slavery days, say, the lighter skin is better. So the moment we see a white man, we think the shit. He deserves for rich and we deserve a poor simply because he's white. You're mad? No. We deserve for rich. That if him rich, we can't reach too. I mean, you know, yeah, walk around and say, oh, yeah, 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 ray, ray, ray. No, man. You know, abundance is in the melanated mind and the melanated body. So if you see the white man can manifest a, a yacht, <laughs> you, you can manifest maybe a planet. You can create a universe for you. <laughs> you get the best, eh? You can create a universe. You know? You don't know the power of this mind, the mind we have. The power of that something here. If it really are working at the right um, frequency, you can do massive things. Look, look at the pyramids of, pyramids of Egypt. Look at the pyramids of um, South, South America. A mind, a mind power do that in a fire. And the thoughts, and a, a, a the thoughts, and the man them, you know, project the blood clean, create, manifest pyramids and them something. By thoughts, you know, by thoughts. So when people are thinking, say, oh, a, a, a some slave drag some blocks and build pyramids. No, brother, a thought. You move a block, you move a stone with your mind, you tell the stone to move and it must move. You get what I say? Because the, the, in the Bible it says when two become one, you know, you tell the mountain to move and it must move and some man think a lie. But when two become one, it means the spiritual and the physical. When the two men become one, the higher self and the lower self join. And a one way to go alone. Anything else if it happens, it must happen. Believe that, it must happen. I believe this by experience, brother. I go around, I do things where the average person is scared of. I get to me and say, because my higher self tell me to do it, it put me through a test. So you go and go do that. And if I'm afraid, you might afraid a little. But I realize that it puts you through things and make you know your power. Make you know who you are because me never know the power of my mind until circumstances come up on me when me realize that shit. I me actually in control of this because I think a certain way I'm a, it, it, the, the reality shift. Situation that could have gone 
far in the L come out with a W, a big W, a win for me a lot of times, you get what I say? so me know the power of this, me know the power of the mind me know the power of positive thinking that's why I try to teach it to you now we need to learn how to think, we need to learn how to use this and this everything mental change this and you change everything you get what I say? so alright, I say now all the, why, why chosen ones suffer the most? suffer the most simple because the ruling people, the ruling class, them understand astrology, them understand a lot of things, metaphysics, them understand spirituality, which them demonize from we. You get what I say? So most people you go to, most the average person you go to today with a with a spiritual talk, he might go demonize you. He might think they are demon, he might think they are against God. You get what I say? Because that is what the society um, pre, um do. It, it literally set up at that, that, that time because these people know that this time was predicted, you know. So they set it up now and demonize a lot of things like spirituality and dreadlocks and so on something. So when people realize the knowledge of shed light, the, 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 the age of a creature shed light upon something where them they demonize. A lot of people still have to demonize it and them know that. <laughs> so yeah now, astrology. So the deity of birth, every, um, every single baby that is born in the world, believe it or not, every single baby that is born, why do you think they have birth, birth papers, birth certificates? Why do you think they need a birth certificate? It's to track you. It's not, Humans don't need birth certificate. You see the dog I get birth certificate. You see the cat I get birth certificate. You see the horses or any other animal in nature have any birth certificate. No, these things are just records to track you. Simple. They want to know something about you. And if you understand astrology, parallel, you understand say so a person can know you, can, can use your, 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 your hour of birth. I mean meaning the hour, the minute and the second of your birth, the date of birth, the month, the year, all of that. In your name and everything because they know of you, they, know, they understand astrology. They tell you, these people understand astrology to the T, which is why they around the world. They know this thing, a, a, a metaphysics around the world, you know, a science, you know, a sorcery, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, and them people understand metaphysics and sorcery. So, the moment your bird paper is sent to um, the elites, the elites. You know, along with the blood type and everything, because they can know your frequency, they can know exactly who you are based on your blood type. So the moment you born in the hospital and your information gets sent wherever, wherever, yeah, man, they might track you because they know exactly who you are. You know, so based on the fact that they know exactly who you are, they might set up your life. You'll find say, demons, entities from the other side, from the ruling cabal, because they know that we are incarnating and they're scared of we, they're scared of the chosen ones, they are scared of us. So because they know power and they know what we can do, they know the, they know the great change that we can come bring about in the earth. And they, they don't want that because if we bring that change, they can't survive on the earth no more. It's literal. It's, it, I, I, it's simple. The laws of vibration say if, if a higher vibration are rule, the, the lower one, you have to just dead out, have to cancel out. Because the, the law of vibration say the vibration and follow the highest vibration. You get what I say? A frequency. <laughs> If me go in a room and me the ice vibing person, everybody have to turn their head and look for me. And soon you go find the lower vibrational beings that start taking themselves out of the room too, because they can't contain my energy, they can't take it. <laughs> it make them, it make them feel uncomfortable. You know? So for the fact that they send a birth certificate and all of them things there, to the ruling, to, to, to the elites, they know a lot about you and they know metaphysics, so they can hijack a body. They can hijack a lower, lower vibration, a lower, a, a lower frequency being, and literally use the being as a pair of glasses to watch you. So sometimes you go in the public, you just find the people always just watch you and look for you, you don't know for what. Yeah, man, no, for them people, they are demons to just work for, the, work, work for the ruling class, work for the elite, them. You know? Just a demon in a vessel, just watch you, so. And not even the vessel, the vessel will occupy, not even realize him, him possessed by a demon, just watch you, so, you know? I don't know why I'm watching it. I can't tell you why I'm watching it. Yeah, man, it's a demon, man. Just watch you. And then watch and then send circumstances to block you from doing certain things. Because them know, even the cell phone thing. Why do you think we never have a cell phone for so long? You know? Them talk the cell phone, them. Them listen to your conversation. Them know what you talk about. Them know what level of vibration is based on what you think and what you say. Based on the things that you type in Google. Them know what you think. So what do you think Google do? You get what do you think Google are report to? Who do you think they're behind the scenes around Google and what people are typing, you know, people are research and all of that? You get what I say? Yeah. You have to understand say, the phone, the phone to every conversation you ever go upon. It has passed through a medium before it reaches the next person. So every time you call somebody, da -da 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 it has go through a medium, you know, brother. And somebody can tap that medium and listen to the whole of your conversation, you know. <laughs> you see what I say? So, this whole phone thing and technology is mostly just to keep track of it 
you know, the chosen ones, and you know, them really need to keep track of it. It's important to them. But we need to just know that we're powerful. Them not have no power over we, you know, that's why them, that's why them watch we and them do them look out. Um, fight them, they send a little demonic energy to fight against we all the time throughout life. Because them know that them can't do nothing. You know, but if we give, it, if we give them our power, they can easily conquer it. Which is what black people have been doing all the years, all these years, because we never know power. We never know so we're, we're powerful. We only know so we're slaves. And if you tell a being so that, that they were only slaves, they're not going to ever know the power. They hide all our great civilization them from with your purpose. And only teach you about slavery. The black people were slaves. But what, why did not tell us the black people were gods and things before that? Huh? What, what happened before slavery? Check that part there. What were black people doing? What were we like? What were our cult cultures? What were we doing? You know? We were, we were astrologers, guys. We were ast um, We were uh, metaphysicians, mathematicians, scientists. Yeah, that's what melanated beings were doing on the earth. <laughs> You know, we were being gods, we were doing what the universe designed us to do. We were being immortal. The universe designed the melanated body to be immortal. The, um, uh, the, the universe designed the melanated body to be immortal. So if you're not, be immortal in this life, which is self-sustenance. Self, self, self because you're coming to this earth to take care of this vessel. And that, that means that if the vessel end up leave you, you know, and you not do something good because if you're a care mash up or something, you not do right. You get to me and say, if your vehicle mash up, and you care that I'm going to wreck it or you know you forget to change the oil properly, you forget to put good gas in it, so it starts deteriorating. You get to me and say, it's the same thing with this vessel. This vessel is made to be immortal. The cell, the smallest unit of our, of our body is a cell. And the cell is immortal. So that means that the body is immortal. Look on the earth, look on the planets, they're in the solar system. They don't consume. That's why they live forever. That's why they are immortal. Human beings are not supposed to eat after a certain age. They're supposed to stop eat. You know? That's why Christ, 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 that's why Christ had the last supper. Enough people have checked that, you know. When the man had the last supper, it was his last meal, you know. <laughs> a lot of the ascended masters do this. They stop eat, you know, and transcend the physical body. When they stop eat, you, you get lighter, the energies, them get more um, attuned with it. You can start literally manipulate the elements when you stop eat because you literally work with lighter energies around you. You get to master the energy, then the light body is activated. So now you can literally you can look at a rock way over there and just move it. No dense, not, not dense in your body fire. Not on our stop the flow of energy. So we can, you can do anything. You get to me and say, not on our block the energy flow. No food, not in a dense energy, not there for block it. So everything just a flow good. We can manipulate the elements of my will, man. Believe it. One of the journey YouTube channel. I don't know how long this will take, but we're in at the time feed. Believe me, soon and very soon, I will see these things start become on, normal. It will be normalized. Human beings are can just simply just. Just do magic like, shh, like nothing, you know. <laughs> it, 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 this is how we were living one time, you know, guys. And the sun, I go back to that frequency there, you know. You find that every time the sun changes frequency, everything have to work with the sun, you know. When the sun I get hotter, that means that the frequency of every single planet in the, in the universe are, are, are get higher. I mean, the frequency of the whole system, the whole universe are real because of that you use the sun. That's why the ancient Egyptians they used, to, used to worship the sun, not really worship it, you know. But do sun salutation because they understand the importance of that something there. And they understand the importance of the, the big ball of fire we you see in the air, yeah man, and the sun may talk about. They understand the importance of the sun. And they understand the importance of mama to the moon. And they understand the importance of Gaia, the earth. Aside, right? so they know that everything connected. One love the journey YouTube channel. Big up.